Hi guys! Welcome back again to my channel, Miss C. So I am here today to discuss the ARRI topic using C language. What we're going to do is to input numbers. So input tayo na numbers. Gawin natin, pasok natin ito sa loob. Okay, input a number. Okay. And then we have here, okay. So subukan natin na, na ganito. Dito po, what we're going to do is we will do it one by one. So, isa-isa siya yung display niya. So, we have four, three. I think yun yung, per, yung sa spaces, yun yung naka-apekto. Three, one, two, and six. Okay, so the elements are four, three, one, two, and six. So, we'll do it again here. I'll go back here. So, we're going to input a number. And then, after we input a number, we will perform the sum of those numbers. Okay? So, we'll get sum is equals to sum plus left view index i. Tapos dito, lagay natin the sum of 5 elements or five numbers is then we have percent D here percent D referring to the sum so we'll try to run this one okay so example 4 5 3 2 and 1 so the sum of five numbers is 15 para siya naging 15 so, we'll have 4 plus 5, uh, so 4 plus 5, 9, 9 plus 3, 12, 12 plus 2, 14, 14 plus 1, 15. Okay? So, what if gusto ko naman mag-input ng 10 numbers? We input tayo ng 10 numbers. So, this time, this will be less than and equal to 9. Okay? So, we'll try 10 numbers. Example 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. Okay, the sum of 5 numbers is 55. So let's check. 1 plus 2, 3, 3 plus 3, 6, 6 plus 4, 10, 10 plus 5, 15, 15 plus 6, 21, 21 plus 7, 28. 28 plus 8, we have 36. 36 plus 9, we have 45. 45 plus 10, we have 55. So that's why we got 55 here. So in doing an array, importante na merong looping. Okay, because that's how you're going to extract your data inside your array. So para makuha mo yung elements or yung data inside your array, you would need um, a looping statement to help you extract your data. Now, on this example, what if we're going to get only the sum of even numbers? So, halimbawa, kukunin ko lang yung even numbers lang. How we're going to do it? So, I will add here another condition. So, if I will have O will left you index I mod 2 is equals to 0. Okay. So, meaning, sabi dito, may condition. Pagka daw po yung overlap view, uh, sorry, this one. Okay. So, we have here, if the value of array overlap view index i is uh, not equal, pagka dinivide natin siya by 2, is not equal to 0, or equal to 0 rather, saka lang po niya i-display, or saka lang niya i-compute yung sum. So, again, if the value of O left view index i mod 2 is equals to 0, that's the time we will compute for the sum. So, meaning, for example, uh, for example, these are the numbers. For example, we have 98. Uh, or example, we have 6, 3, 2, 1, 5, 7, 10, uh, 4, 8. Example, these are my numbers. So, for example, the first number is 6. So, this is index 0. So, we will check if the value of overlap you index 0 
if we will divide this by 2, we will get the remainder of 0. Okay, so if it's true, that's the time we will have the, we will compute for the sum. Okay, so we'll have an example first, guys, before we uh, proceed. Okay, so let's have a number 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, sorry for that, 8, 9, and 10. So if we will look at this one, we only have 30. So let's look at the even numbers. So 2 plus 4 is equals to 6. 6 plus 6 is equals to 12. 12 plus 8 is equals to 20. And 20 plus 10 is equals to 30. So that's how we get the uh, sum of even numbers. Now how about for the add numbers? So we'll just change this one. Okay, so instead of equal to, we'll have not equal to to get the add numbers. So, for example, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. So, the sum of five numbers is, sorry, the message here is incorrect. Dapat to, the sum of add numbers is so 25. Let's check. 1. 1 plus 3 will give you 4. 4 plus 5 will give you 9. 9 plus 7 will give you 16. 16 plus 9 will give you 25. Okay? So this should be the sum of add numbers. So we have here another one. Okay? So here you're asked for a number of loop. So percent B. Percent D, then we have ampersand num na lang. I'll have num here. I'll add num on top. Okay. And then, so you're going to input the number of elements. Ito, ilalagay nyo kung ilan yung data na kailangan nyo. And then, your looping will be based here. So, we will set to maximum. We'll have 100 example. And then, the looping hill will start by zero. Okay, magsistart pa rin yung uh, looping mo by zero. Pero mag end siya, depende kung ilan yung nilagay mo dito. So, ilalagay ko dito, num. So, para po, ang looping niya, naka-base on the number of the, num of the, uh, the value of number input here. So, example, nilagay mo 5, ang looping niya, mag-end lang ng 5. So, input, I'll have it in the box. So, this should be, dapat hindi siya equal, dapat less than lang. Less than the number. For example, guys, nag-input ako dito ng 3. So, ang index niyan, anong index dito? Kung 3 po yan. 0, 0, 1, 2 lang. ba? Kung nag-input ako ng 3 elements dito, ang magiging index niyan, 0, 1, and 2 lang. Kaya dito, sa condition ko, it should be less than this one. Okay? Kasi pagka ginawa kong uh, equal, hanggang 4 elements yan. So, input number of elements. Example, nalagay ko 3. So, tatanungin ako, tatlong beses lang. 3, 2, and 1. Okay? So, pansin nyo, tatlong beses lang ako hiningan ng number. Another one, example, I want how many number of elements? 6. So, 5, 4, 2, 1, 3, and 6. Okay? The sum of... So, dito, ang in lang is yung sum ng add number. So, we have 5 plus 1, 6, 6 plus 3, we have... Nine. Okay, let's have another example or last example for this. So, what I did, guys, is mag-input ako ng number. After I input the number, or mag-input ako ng number of elements, rather. And then, after ko mag-input ng number of elements, kailangan ko mag-input ng number. And then, dun sa in-input ng numbers, bibilangin niya dun ilan ang even number, ilan ang add numbers. So the number, this should be the number of positive, positive numbers, mali yung condition ko, 
the number of negative numbers. So this should be negative. Let's have neg for negative and pos for positive. Okay, so input a number. Okay, let's okay. do it again. So we'll have 10. So negative 2, negative 1, 4, 5, 6, 7, negative 8, 9, 10, negative 3. Okay? So the number of positive numbers is 6. The number of negative numbers is 4. So let's count the positive numbers. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. While the negative numbers are 1, 2, and 3 and 4. Okay? So, let's have a uh, few numbers only. So, let's have 5. We have negative 4, 3, 2, 1, and 6. So, positive numbers, we have 4. Okay? And the negative number is 1. Thank you for watching my channel. So, I hope you've learned a lot. So, please click like Share and subscribe for more videos. Bye-bye!